Welcome back to another Unity tutorial. I'll also be using Playmaker in this tutorial. Apologize if you don't like that I'm not using green screen. I'm also not using my uh, snowball mic. I just didn't want to hook that all up. Um, there might be a little bit of background noise, but I think OBS's noise cancellation will take care of it. It is. I need to do this in a project I was working on, which just make a timer that could be displayed in a 3D world. And um, I built one fairly simply using Pro Builder and some uh, Playmaker actions. And I just thought I'd share it because I thought it worked out real nice. So in, I'm in Unity. And if you don't know how to get Pro Builder, just go to the Package Manager under Unity Registry. Just search Pro Builder, get it installed. You're good. Then go up here to Tools, then Pro Builder, and then just go to the Pro Builder window. Um, you can dock it to the side if you want to. Um, but I'm just going to do a new shape. And I'm going to make it a uh, cube. And uh, with the new version of uh, Pro Builder and Unity, um, you actually drag to make your shape. So if I want to make it like that, but I actually want to do it something like this. And then there's our height like so. That's what I'm going to do. OK. And um, yeah, so I kind of like that. So um, I'm done with the shape. Do I press Enter? I think I just have to click off of it. There we go. Now what I want to do is I want to select this front face and I just want to bevel it a bit, I think. So let's see, where's the bevel option? <laughs> there it is. All right, so I'm going to bevel. And um, then I'm just going to grab that face and nope, I need to grab this face. And um, I don't want to move it in. I want to extrude. Extrude the face. And now that I've extruded it, I can push it in a bit. So you can see I can kind of like make a little indented face for our timer. I'm just going to do it like that. All right, so now we need to add some color to this beast. Um, so I'm just going to, uh, do I have a color in here? Yeah, I got some colors. I don't know, let's, uh, I'm just going to create a new one because I want a gray. Uh, we'll just call this gray. And with the inspector, and let's get it a nice dark gray, something like that. And then we're just going to do this. Now, um, what I normally have done in my past projects is I just already had a color atlas in the project. Um, actually, let's go ahead and do that. So in the project I'm currently in, um, I'm using some Cinti Studios Polygon Sci-Fi Space stuff. It already has a gazillion materials in it. Um, so I'm just going to grab one, and I'm going to grab put the material onto the game object. And then I'm going to select it. And I'm going to then go to Pro Builder and go to the UV Editor. All right, inside the UV Editor, I'm just going to click the vertices and I'm going to try to select all. Select all those. And I'm going to go select face, set it to box, and scale it down. When you have a, a really big game object, of course it thinks it's big, but it's not really that big. Sometimes it's a bit annoying to get it all the way scaled down. All right, and then I'm just going to um, find a color I like. Really, just for fun, I could just use this whole fun texture. Like that, yeah, let me do that, that could be fun. Why not? I was just gonna put it all down as like the size of a pixel. And just make it a solid looking color. Um, but I'm going to move this. Let's just see what that looks like. All right, yeah, that's kind of fun. Sweet. All right, so now I'm going to go back to face select, and I just want to edit the UV on just this face here. Now I can go to UV editor. There's my face, and I'm going to definitely scale this one way down. And this one I want to be black. So I'm just going to put it down here, black part of the atlas. And there we go. Um, yeah, so you can kind of see I have a little box going on here. All right, so um, this is just going to be our clock. And now I'm just going to add, um, I'm going to add a 3D object. I'm going to make it text mess pro. And it's always weird that the text faces the opposite direction. Did they ever change that? Let's see. Got to grab the game object there. So it's like, I would, I would want the, um, this is going to work for this project, but if you notice, the Z is pointed this way. So if you want this text to look at the camera, it'll actually be looking at it backwards. So this will work for now. 
And um, I want my text to look like timer. Do that, and I also like to center it both horizontally and vertically. And then I want to adjust my, I'm gonna change this to orthographic so I can adjust my width and our position. And then let's adjust our height. Yeah, I don't know, let's just, that's probably fine. And then let's increase our font size significantly. Okay, so here you can see we have ourselves a nice little timer box. You can't really see that it's indented very well because um, I just chose four colors, but you can see it goes in a little bit. Um, I could probably put my text back a little bit. So if I hold down the Alt key, and then um, that'll make it to where I can adjust the Z very slowly. And there it's gone, so I'm just gonna bring it back. Okay, so now we need to put in some logic. I'm just gonna turn the gizmos off. So this is where I'm gonna use Playmaker Visual Scripting. So um, go to Playmaker, bring the editor out here. And we're just gonna drop it in here. And I'm gonna add an episode. Um, so um, let's say I already know what I want my time to start at. So I'll just go ahead and say I want a three minute timer. Okay, there we have three minutes. Very cool. And um, what I need to do is I need to have a countdown. Or even better yet, let's say I want this to set the text. So let's set, so here's a trick. We'll just grab the text, come over here, and I'll go to Text Mesh Pro, Text Mesh Pro Basic, Text Mesh Pro, uh, no, I want UI. Oh, I don't need to, you, yeah, this works. I'm, this, I'm not using UI, I forgot. Text Mesh Pro, text. All right, and then let's say I wanna set this as a variable and I can make this start time if I want. And so in this case, we can make our start time. Um, let's just make it uh, 0, 0500. 0, 0. All right, so if I hit play, what should happen is it's just going to set the clock. Oh, I don't have a camera. Set it at five. All right, five minutes, cool. All right, so now we need to actually progress through the time. So um, in Playmaker, um, we're actually gonna go start a new state here. We're gonna call this one um, set start time with variable. And then um, I might not have it in here yet, so let's do countdown. Hey, I do. All right, so if you don't have countdown timer, you won't have it in a normal Playmaker install. You can get it from the ecosystem. So if you go to Playmaker, add-ons, install the ecosystem if you haven't. If you have ecosystem, go to ecosystem. Go to use ecosystem and just search countdown. There's also a count up timer. All right, but I already have it in this project, so we'll bring it in here. All right, so we're going to always count down from uh, 60. So um, in this case, I'm actually going to start at 59, um, just because I don't want 60 to be in the seconds. So I'm actually gonna start at 59 and then stop at zero, and then we're gonna do a uh, next, I'm just gonna call this next minute. All right, so we're counting down the timer, and then um, we'll call this state countdown. So we have our seconds, so we want to, how do I want to do this? All right, so I first need to store this variable as seconds. And then I need a minute variable. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to create a new int. We're just going to call this minute. And um, we're just going to set this to start at five. So really in my start state, rather than setting the text Pro text, I should build a string first. So build string. Um, I'm also going to convert int to string. And the reason I do that rather than do it, a lot of actions will let you convert the variables right inside, <clears throat> but I want to um, choose my formatting. So I'm gonna use this action. So I'm gonna convert the minute to minute string in the format zero, zero. Okay. And then I'm going to set text mesh pro text, not yet, I need to build my string. Um, so we're going to have my first element being the minute string, and then I'm going to have a colon, and then uh, my last element is going to be uh, seconds. So let's just convert. 
you know what? We need to go to uh, another convert into string. And we need our new variable. Uh, we save it as seconds. Yeah, it should be there. I'm going to convert into string. So I'm going to convert. Variables, seconds. Oh, it's a float. <laughs> So for my use case, I also want to convert the float to an int. So let's do uh, convert float to int. I feel like I did this cleaner when I actually did it in my project. This is fine for now. So let's convert the uh, seconds to seconds int. And let's round to, let's round up. That's what I want to do. And um, then I want to convert Int to string. I want to convert the seconds int to seconds string in the same format. So now I can make this element second string. All right. Um, and we're going to store this as time string. And we're going to set the TextMex Pro for that text now to time string. And um, let's just delete this transition for a minute and let's just see if this does what we want. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it did. Great. All right, it did exactly what we wanted. So if we go in here and look at the debugs, um, we're converting the, oh, we don't have debug on. Um, it converted the five minute to zero five. It converted the seconds, which is at zero to zero. And then it's converted that int of zero to a string in the format zero zero. And then it built the string to five minutes. And there we go. Cool. So now I can add a transition and finish. So now we can start our countdown. It's going to count down from 59. And uh, we're going to um, also subtract. In, in older versions of Playmaker, it doesn't have int subtract as one of the basic actions, but 1.9.4 does. Um, but you can get int subtract from the ecosystem. Or you can use int add and just put a negative sign in front of what you want to subtract. All right, so we're going to go int subtract. So from here, we're going to subtract one from the minute. Okay, we're subtracting one from the minute. Then we're going to do our countdown timer. And it's going to be getting it in seconds. And then what we want is we can just steal some logic from here. We should be able to just grab all of this, right? I think we need all that. And then just paste the actions up here. So it's going to take the int variable minute and just convert it to a string. And then we're going to take the seconds, which is coming from the countdown timer. And then we're going to convert it. We want to do that one um, every frame. We don't need to convert the, the minute every frame. We need to convert the seconds every frame and convert the the seconds int to a string every frame. And we want to build this string every frame. And we want to set this text mesh pro text every frame. And then on the countdown timer, when we get to the next minute, um, we can probably just loop this. In my previous project, um, where I did this actually, I needed it in a project, I made a state or it did the subtraction, but I just have it at the beginning, doing it as the first thing. So let's see if that works. Hitting play. That seems to be working, doesn't it? All right, we have ourselves, looks kind of like a Borg cube time clock, but it's not in a cube. <laughs> so, so there you go, you can have that um, as a timer in your uh, world. Um, I think I probably made it a little bit skinnier. So what did I do it on the x-axis? There we go, board cube. <laughs> you can make it nice and skinny like that, put it up on a wall, get a nice attractive countdown timer. Hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see a tutorial on. See you next time.